You've just tuned in to Ivy Tech Video. It's assumed at this point that you have already installed Core FTP. When you launch the program, the first dialog box you'll see is Site Manager. Click on New Site. Under the site name, type in CINS157. For the host IP, type ftp.sullens.net. Next, click on the Advanced button. And under the Directory slash Folder menu, for the Remote Start folder, Type public underscore HTML slash CINS one five seven. For your local start folder, click on the button that has the three dots and then navigate and browse to the location where you would like Core FTP to always open for your local files. This may be your hard drive or your flash drive. Then click the connections and make sure Keep Alive is checked. The default 15 seconds will be a little too frequent, so change that to 60 seconds and then click OK. Back on the Site Manager dialog, type the username given to you by your instructor into the username field. Then type in the password. If you're on a public computer like the ones at school, you should click Don't Save Password, but on your own computer, you can leave it unchecked. Under Connection, make sure that the connection type is SSH SFTP. The configuration for this profile is now complete, but before you click Connect, there's one thing I need to tell you about. The very first time you connect with Core FTP on any computer, you'll get this key exchange dialog box. Always answer yes. Once you've affirmed the key exchange, click Connect. You'll see your local files on the left-hand side and the remote files on the right-hand side. This concludes the configuration. There will be other videos showing you how to use Core FTP in this class. For now, just click the Disconnect Answer Yes and you can close the application. Thanks for watching this video.